this video, I'll be showing you how you can turn a normal image into a dark moody tone image inside PhotoP. So make sure you have your image layer selected, click filter at the top, camera raw, and make sure you have um, the exact same numbers that I have. So the temperature will be 8, the tint will be 6, the exposure will be negative 0.6, the contrast will be 49, Vibrance will be negative 37 and the saturation will be negative 30 and make sure um, your numbers are the exact same as my numbers and just press OK. Then go over to a new adjustment layer which is um, this icon over here and click curves. So I'll um, click this dot at the bottom left corner and the output for that will be um, 34. Then click anywhere on this to create a next dot. Then the input for that will be 98 and the output will be 96. Click anywhere again. Then that one, um, the input is 182. The output is 196. Then for this last dot over here, um, it will be both 253 for both input out and output. So your dots sh should look something like this. And if it doesn't, quickly um, fix it up and make sure you enter um, the right numbers. So you can just press um, this properties tab over here to close that window and click the new adjustment layer and press hue and saturation. Um, it will say master, but click it and press red. And for saturation, I'm um, type 38 and click on red again at the top and press yellow. And the saturation for yellow will be negative 100. Then close that window and open a new hue and saturation layer. So you should have two hue and saturation layers. The saturation um, for this one, so make sure it's on yellow, will be negative, uh, sorry, will be 50. And then um, green will be negative 100 for saturation. Um, cyan, negative 100. Blue, negative 100. And magenta, negative 100. So green, cyan, blue, and magenta should all be negative 100. And yellow should um, be 50. So now it should look something like this. Something that I recommend doing to give it a more moody tone is go over to your rectangle tool, click fill and press um, this red X and for stroke, click it and press black. And um, for the size, it just depends on what your image is, but um, I'm going to do 500 and you will notice that your cursor has changed. So make sure um, these corners of your cursor match up to the corners of your image and just drag it like this. And once you're done, you can just let go. So your border should look something like this. Um, you don't want it to be too thick, but you don't want it to be too thin. So um, size like this is good. So right click um, your shape layer and press rasterize. Click filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And um, I'm just going to click randomly like this. Okay, so 242. I like how that looks, so I'm going to keep it like that. But um, it should create a, this effect. Um, you don't need to follow my numbers because um, it all depends on the size of your image and um, a personal preference on how dark you want the corners to be. But once you're happy with it, you can just press OK. Um, so this is what it looks like without the border and this is what it looks like with the border. You can see it just adds that more um, moody-ish vibe to it. Um, so yeah, that's how you add, so that's how you make um, a dark moody tone inside Photo P. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Bye!